Hi everyone, it's Chantal, and oops, let me fix my camera real quick. Ooh, I have one hair sticking up. <laughs> and this video is going to be a haul video. I have um, accumulated all stuff. Ulta is having some really, really awesome sales. Um, as you'll see in my video, um, until May 9th, I believe, Sunday. Mother's Day 2010 they're gonna have like these promotions um all the stuff that I got was on promotion that's why I bought them so um like they're all you know polishes are buy two get one free the only thing is you can't mix and match so like if you want to get like an SC nail polish and an OPI like it doesn't count to the like the thing the discount that they give you but um, I have OPI NYX some Revlon and, oh, I have some MAC stuff, too. And, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start with the MAC stuff, because that's kind of the stuff that I'm... Okay, I'm excited. Like, I'm happy. I guess you could say pleased and, like, disappointed. Like, two things. Um, first thing, this is from the Prêt de Papier um, collection that just came out. I'm such a dork. I put it all in this little Chanel bag, so I wouldn't, like, lose it. Like, I'm going to lose my MAC stuff. But anyway, um, what I got, I got a lipstick. This is the first thing that I'm really disappointed in. And um, the lipstick that I got is a luster, and it's called Dressmaker Dressmaker. You won't be able to see it. My camera's poop. But this is what it looks like. And it's very much like an, or like a, almost like a tannish coral color. Kind of like peach stock, but a little more orangey quarrelly so this is what it is what it looks like now okay I look at it and I'm like this is really pretty it's a pretty pretty lipstick it looks exactly like what I'm wearing right now and what I'm wearing right now is not dressmaker dressmaker I am wearing um, another lipstick this one's a cream sheen which I love I love cream sheens but this one is in the color you able to see so this one is called ravishing and I feel like this one is really similar. I mean, although the colors do look different when they are applied because the formulation is different, you can tell that Dressmaker Dressmaker is a little bit darker. It looks a little bit darker. Let me swatch it really quick. So this one is Ravishing. And it's a cream sheen, so it has like that kind of almost glossy finish to it. Really soft. And then this one is Dressmaker Dressmaker. You gotta see what I'm doing. One, two, three. Okay, so this one is Dressmaker Dressmaker. And you can see that it's almost a little bit darker. But they're so similar. It's like... Oh, so frustrating. It's like, Matt, can you like come with like some more original colors? Like, stop trying to remake everything and just like change it up like a little bit like two or three shades darker it's like kind of bums me out but I do like it I do like that it's a little bit more it's more of a sheer wash of color my bad this one's dressmaker dressmaker this one is ravishing I keep forgetting my camera it's different it's opposite so dressmaker dressmaker is a little bit more sheer where ravishing is a little bit darker in color a little bit more pigmented so take that for what it's worth um, just comparing the two so if you don't get your hands on dressmaker oops, dressmaker dressmaker and if you already have ravishing there's really no need to rush out and get this because it's pretty much basically the same thing the other thing I did get from the collection is the paint pot in coral crepe and this I really really do like um, it's a really pretty corally color. Duh, that's why it's called coral crepe. And it's such a pretty base, especially when you want to do like oranges or like reds on your eyes. Go ahead and swatch this right along the top. It almost looks just like the lipstick. <laughs> but, and this is good. You can use this as a base on your lips. You can use it on your cheeks as well. So, I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. Um, I love this color because I don't really have anything more in like the orangey tones. So, this is really good. Bye. 
And that is it for match, I think. I don't think I've gotten... I've been really, really good. So... Oh, what I did want to share with you. I think today the new, their Super Gloss lip glosses came out. And it's kind of like a steroid version of like Dazzle Glass. And I kind of swatched and I played around with it. I don't like it personally at all. I feel like the glitter is like really chunky glitter. Like it feels... It looked to me as if, you know, like the glitter pigment or the pots of glitter you can buy or just like loose glitter that you can play with and put on your face and stuff. I felt like that was what was in the lip gloss. So, I mean, unless you're into, you really want like tons of sparkles. Um, if you like that kind of stuff, then Super Glass is awesome for you. I personally don't like it, so I won't be personally purchasing any of those. So, just thought I'd give you my two cents. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Moving on to Ulta. So first thing I'm going to talk about is nail polish because I'm a nail polish fiend. Like, I'm going crazy painting my nails right now. I have on Illamasqua's um, Lament. That's what it looks like. You can purchase Illamasqua from um, Sephora. So Sephora.com has it. And it's a really pretty, kind of almost like neon coral color. Like a pinky coral. I like that. It's really pretty. So, just wanted to share that with you guys because I know I'm going to be asked what am I wearing. So, Lament from La Mask on my nails and then Ravishing on my lips. Okay, OPI nail polishes. I'm obsessed with these. You, If you follow my blog and you check out my blog, which you all should be doing, um, you'll see that I featured this color already. It's called Coney Island Cotton Candy. And it's a really pretty, like, pink, light pink with like a peach undertone. So I love this. Um, these were $8.50 each, and then it was buy two, get one free. So got that one. And then I also got Samoan Sand, which is really nice, more of a nude color. So this one's really pretty. I love, like, these sh more sheer neutral tones for when I don't really want to be too crazy out there with, like, bright colors like this. But I still want something on my nails that's going to be noticeable. And it's just a little toned down. And then when I purchased those, I got this um, nail treatment. It's a natural nail strengthener. And um, I'm out of like a good kind of like kind of nail thingamajiggy. I know Sally Hansen makes really good strengthener products and stuff for your nails. But I wanted to give this one a try. So got that. And then today I stopped by Ulta. And I got this. This is from the new little like Shrek 3 collection that they... Um, not set out they're just released and um this one really caught my eye i love this color it's like a baby bluish with like a little it's like a bright baby blue color and it's called what's with the catitude so freaking cute i can't wait to paint my nails this color i love it Let's see what else oh from revlon this is from the buy two get one free i got two three colors duh i can't count this one is called peach sorbet and it's a really nice nude color. It's just a really sheer. Like this would be a really good highlight color. Like I would compare. You can't even see it, but I could compare this to like um, brulee from Mac. It's kind of like that beige, but with like a little bit of pink undertone to it. And then these are all the matte eyeshadows, by the way, matte Revlon matte. And this one is called Riviera Blue. Looks like that. Almost kind of like plumage. Kind of has that dark bluish quality. Maybe even like deep truth. Like now that I look at it. Something like that. And this one I feel like it's like a dupe for Electric Eel from MAC. This one's called Venetian Blue. And I don't know why I buy blue eyeshadows. Like I've tried. I did a look. Using these two, I put this one all over my eyelid and then I put this in my crease. And I just don't like the way that blue eyeshadow looks on me. Like, I don't know why I keep buying them. I need to stop buying blues. Because they just, just don't do anything for my eyes. But, very much like electric eel. If you like that kind of color. And my ex has driven me nuts. Like, when I first started out on YouTube and I first started watching videos on YouTube... A lot of people talked about NYX, and I became obsessed with NYX. I loved NYX. It was, um, it's a really good product, and it's 
not super high expensive like you know something from like a department store but it's more like a drugstore kind of level and I love the pigmentation I love the colors I love that the wide variety there's so much stuff from NYX and I'm seriously so obsessed and I feel like a spokesperson right now but um I love NYX I'm like kind of going back towards that I don't know why but I just I'm kind of going back that way and then now that I know that you can get it at Ulta I never knew you could get NYX at Ulta I it was like always like where am I going to buy it? I used to go to downtown LA and like go through all the little shops and try to find stuff, you know. And they, of course, they'd only have like old stuff and like, not old stuff, but like eyeliners and that was it. I was like, this sucks. <laughs> so, um, very excited to see that it's at Ulta. And as you will see, I'm, I've gone nuts with NYX. Um, you've seen me use this before in a um, tutorial. And it's their eyeshadow base in white. And I said that this is kind of like a jumbo eyeshadow pencil, but in a pot. And in some ways it is. It's really that kind of creamy consistency. But when you put it on, it has, it almost finishes, ended, or ends up being almost like a, like a powdery finish. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's right there. And I like the white because it really makes the colors, any like bright colors you put on top of it really pop. So I like the white base for that. So definitely love these. I think this is like $5.99 or $6.99. And then I got one eyeshadow. This color is really pretty. This one's called Wildfire. And it's like a turquoise aqua blue. And this is what it looks like. Really pigmented. That's the thing that I love about their eyeshadows. They're so bright and so vivid. Of course when I put it on with no base, there's like nothing there. But really pretty and then you saw this palette before I showed you guys this one already this is what I used in the tutorial and this one's called the secret world and has like oranges warmer tones like orange browns and then down here it has more like greens and I love the greens I think the greens look really good on my eyes and I also I'm a big fan of like the browns, so I really like those neutral kind of natural looks Excuse me. And then in that video, I told you guys that this wasn't originally the one I wanted. I didn't want Secret World. I was looking for champagne and caviar. And then today I went to Ulta, and they must have just restocked like their NYX because they had eyeshadow pencils, they had all the bright colors, they had like everything, and they had my champagne and caviar. Yay! So excited. I love this palette because it's. I already kind of swatched it. So, but it's like all the warm neutral tones that you need for like an everyday look this is like the absolute perfect I'm so excited I love this I think these are great and then they had the smoky eyes one and I was really contemplating I was like I should get it I'm like I don't really do smoky eyes too much and if I wanted to do it I have MAC eyeshadows and like the darker tones silvers, grays, blacks that I can use and I was like okay I need to save a little bit more okay one lip gloss, really quick, because I'm talking forever. This one is from um, NYX. It's a sheer gloss, and it is called Shangri-La. And I just love this color. It's like a beautiful, like, nude. And they smell like grape. But it has, like, a brush tip applicator. So it's not like the doe foot. It's like an actual little brush. It's really easy to apply. It's really pretty on. It's great for topping over like a lipstick and stuff, but I absolutely love this lip gloss. It's a beautiful color. And then this is it. This is the last thing, but it's like jumongous because I have bought like five million. And it is the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils. Mm, so excited. Um I love these things. Um and the Ulta that I usually go to never has the bright colors. I don't know what the heck, but like they never have it. And when I went, they had them, so I went crazy. And I'm gonna swatch them really, really quick for you guys because I think these are. I think it's important for you guys to kind of see what the colors look like because some of them are kind of scary. This one is red, and this one's called Cherry, and it's just a beautiful red color. 
You could almost just use this one as like a lipstick too, probably. Like a lipstick base. Because it's so red. This one is the hot pink. Really beautiful pink. I'm gonna use this one actually today. I'm gonna get ready for work for my eyeshadows. I'm gonna create a fun pink look. This one is cottage cheese. This one is more like kind of more of that basic kind of color that you would get. It's just a frosty kind of white color. That one's really good to have. Um, this one is called Pacific. And it is like a ocean blue kind of color. This one is yellow. And it is yellow. Wow. <laughs> okay, almost done. Three more. This one is called purple. Number 618. And this one is really pretty. It has almost like dual comb, dual chrome. Like it's holographic y. You can't tell on the camera, but it has like an opalescent sheen to it. It's really nice. Um, this one is called Rust. This one's really good for the fall when you do more of that smoky or darker tone looks. And last one is orange. So those are my new jumbo eyeshadow pencils. Expect to see tutorials with these. And uh, I'm not editing this video, so it's quite long. But hopefully it keeps you guys entertained. And um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, my All my jewelry that I'm wearing today is from Forever 21. I set these earrings. These earrings I got in Nordstrom. And my sunglasses. Oh, by the way, in case you're curious. Um, they are Marc Jacobs. But this is what they look like. They're just red and then the silver. I feel famous. <laughs>